Welcome back to Talking Old School with Roger Williams. I want to invite you to a very special edition of Talking Old School today, the Old School Gator Series. And we're very pleased to be joined by one of the all-time great Gators. In fact, he's not only a great all-time great Gator, he's an SEC legend as well and a Florida Georgia Series legend as well. Of course, I'm talking about Richard Trapp. Richard was a wide receiver and punt returner from 1965 to 1967. During his career, he set virtually every Gator and SEC single game, season, and career receiving record. Played with Steve Spurrier on the great uh, 65 and 66 Gator teams, which uh, went to the Sugar Bowl and won the 1967 Orange Bowl. He's also he, the hero of the 1967 Florida Georgia game, where he, uh, the Gators upset heavily favored Georgia in 16-7, uh, largely due to his outstanding efforts. We'll talk about all that on the show today. His other, um, you may 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 not know, is that he's also one of the all-time great athletes in the history of uh, University of Florida. He was an All-American baseball player, was a number two draft choice for the New York Yankees out of, out of um, Florida in baseball, and he was also the billiards campus billiards and ping pong champion as well. So, got a lot to talk about. We're going to have a great uh, hour of great Gator history with one of the all-time great Gators, and also Florida Georgia series history with one of the all-time great Gators on the show today. I want to. Before we go to our guests and, and um, on, a show, on talking old school today in the special edition, the old school Gator series, I want to remind you you've got um, one more day to get over to Shoot Straight Gun Range for their 30th anniversary sale. All kinds of specials will be going on through November 1st, so get on over to Shoot Straight, located in Apopka, in Castleberry, and in Tampa, and tell them Roger Franklin Williams sent you. Now let's go to our featured guest today on talking old school and the special edition of the old, old school Gator series. Richard Trapp. Richard, thanks for joining us today. Roger, it's a pleasure to be here. It's always great to talk to, to any Gator, but especially the old school, uh, the old school Gators and the, the great Gators from a, from a great era. Um, first of all, Richard, why don't you tell us where you, where you live today and what you do. I know a lot of, a lot of the Gators like to get caught up with you. Sure. Thanks, Roger. I, uh, thank you for having me here on the show, especially with the Gator uh, Georgia game coming up. I'm sure that's uh, going to be an exciting game. But I'm an attorney. I've been an attorney here in, uh, in Orlando uh, since 1974. I um, have my own practice uh, here in, near downtown Orlando, and I'm a civil trial lawyer. been doing that, like I say, for about 30-something years now, so I, very, I enjoy it very much. I've, I'm, I'm married to Sharon, been married to Sharon for, uh, since 1974, and uh, we have four children, uh, four boys. I've got uh, two in college, uh, one playing on a basketball scholarship down at Barry University. And uh, he's, uh, which is a great, great college down there in Miami. Uh, Coach Graves uh, thought we needed to put points up on the board, and so after our each touchdown, we went for two, didn't get any of them, ended up losing 20 to 18, and, and we still kid him about that now. You know, we could have won that game just by kicking extra points, but uh, who knew at the time? Uh, so, uh, you know, we had a, a, a lot of talent there during the mid 60s at, at Florida. I'd like to talk about that a little bit later in our show because yeah, you know you, people talk about the great talent now and the great talent the last couple of decades. But uh, one thing I would say, going back to at least 1950, when Bob Woodruff came to Florida, Florida's had tremendous talent um, every single year. And, and again, during your era was an era where there was um, outstanding talent. In fact, you played with many guys that went on and played in the National Football League. We'll talk about that a little bit later in our show. And, but Rich, why don't we talk about um, you know your career specifically, and let's start with that '65 year. You were a, a sophomore wide receiver, and, right. and in fact, that Sugar Bowl, that big dramatic uh, Sugar Bowl, frantic comeback in the Sugar Bowl, you, you um, had a big game in that game. So just tell us a little bit about your, yeah. your, your 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 first year of your Gator career, your sophomore year, '65. Sure. sure, I'd be happy to. Um, uh, first of all, you know, I the year that Steve Spurrier won the Heisman Trophy. Also, he's in the Florida Georgia Hall of Fame as well. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Can you tell us about some of the, the great highlights you had that year, your junior year with Steve Spurrier quarterback, and of course the Auburn game is legend, and I was fortunate enough as a small child to, uh, to attend that game, and that's a memory certainly I'll never forget. And, but it, it was really a, a season of, of highlights. During it, that it was. I mean, it was a, it was a, really a, a pleasure to be involved during that year because Steve won the Heisman Trophy and, of course, everything that goes along with that. Um, I think the Auburn game probably won the Heisman Trophy for him because of the kick uh, that the, at the end of the game, the field goal that he made. Uh, you know, uh, Wayne Barfield was our kicker. He was our field goal kicker, but he really, and he's very accurate, but uh, he really couldn't kick uh, a long-distance field goal at all, anything over maybe in the 30s. 
Uh, this one, I believe, was about a 40-yarder, something like that, and uh, end of the game. And Coach Graves, I, I remember Coach Graves basically turning to Barfield to, to kick, and, and they were discussing it, and Spurrier said, you know, Coach, I'll kick it. I can kick it. And he said, get in there, Steve. And, and sure enough, <laughs> went in there and kicked it and, and made it. And, you know, that was, that was obviously headlines around the country and things like that. So I, I do think that that was a, a big win for us. We were undefeated, you know, uh, in, in 66. You were probably most, in addition to, in, in, you know, given all your records and all the great season games that you had over your three-year career, I think the 67 game is where probably more people know Richard Trapp than, than, than anything else. And that was when you just pretty much took over the, the Florida-Georgia game in the second half and led the Gators to not only a 16-7 to upset victory, but a, but a victory where you guys had trailed most of the game in, until, until late in the game. So yeah, can, kind of set the stage for us, first of all, before we get sure. into you know, the dramatic plays that you made. Okay, sure, Roger. I, you know, back then, first of all, uh, we were lucky to have one game on national TV. You know, it wasn't like it is today, where Florida's on basically every week on national TV. Back then, it was one game, and it was the Florida-Georgia game. And so if he did well in the Florida-Georgia game, that was always the biggest game back then for us, uh, for that main reason. And, uh, and sure enough, it was on national TV this game, and, and uh, I caught it. We were down, I guess it was 7-0, uh, or yeah, I guess it was 7 to nothing. I'm not sure what the score was in the third. I think it was in the third quarter. At one point, the, the Georgia was heading 9, nine to nothing. Okay. All right. And, uh, and then I caught a, uh, a, really it was just a short curl pattern. Uh, and ended up uh, juking a few times and getting away from some of the Georgia defenders and, uh, and ended up on the sidelines. I had caught the ball over the middle of the, of the field and ended up scoring on a 52-yard touchdown. But it was, I mean, really, I probably ran 150 yards to, to score the 52-yard touchdown. And it was, it was really funny. Um, if, you, if you looked at the, at the uh, video after the game, uh, one of George's coaches was on the sidelines, you know, and, and as I was running up the sidelines to score the touchdown, he was running right alongside, beside me, and he was screaming and yelling. You could see his hands moving, and it was really funny. Everybody's <laughs> laughing, but um, it was just, you know, it just happened to be a, a really good play. It happened at the right time. Uh, I know um, uh, Keith Jackson was the the, the announcer, and uh, and he said it was a, at the time the greatest college run he had ever seen. And, and it's funny, you know, that, that, that run, uh, even though no one can find it, uh, it Florida doesn't have it. Um, for some reason, we don't have any record of that run. I, I don't know what happened to the tapes, but I know a few years later, uh, I happened to be watching Cheers on TV, you know, the program Cheers, and they were all, people were sitting at the bar there looking at a football game, and they were all cheering, and that was my run that they showed up there on the TV station, you know, on the TV channel. Uh, during during that series, so it's funny. It, it, it survived somewhere. Yeah, it survived somewhere. That's I, right. I guess some Georgia fan got into the archives somewhere and, yeah. and have deleted a few of those. I guess I, I don't know what happened to it, but they they at least had it, you know. But uh, I was national back of the week uh, that game. Um, it came like I said at a, at, at a great time. Uh, we were not favored to win that game. Um, uh, Georgia had a really good team, uh, and and actually um, uh, later in that game. Uh, Right toward the end of the game, we were driving at the end of the game, and I actually had a, a very important catch and run uh, that doesn't get as much publicity as, as my touchdown because I didn't score a touchdown on it, but it really ended up being a very important catch and run that uh, ended up uh, to where we got in field goal position and kicked a field goal. Well, yeah, that's what set up a dramatic end-of-the-game uh, field goal by, by Wayne Barfield, who, yeah. who, who, got the, who got the kick this time.